it doesn't make the trauma go away. It doesn't restore lost years. It doesn't bring back finances spent on therapy. Whatsoever you sow, that's, that's what you're going to reap. Recently, this former head of an ex-gay ministry did something unthinkable. Wendy Gritter married a same-sex couple. Unthinkable because for many years, it was what she was trying to stop. She ran an ex-gay ministry called New Direction that tried to cure gay people, make them straight. It all began in 2002 when this young mom thought her new job was the perfect fit. I had never worked in this area. Uh, I was a fairly recent seminary grad and I had small children. My youngest was still in diapers. And it was part-time and I could work from home and I cared about people on the margins and uh, so I thought I would do it a couple of years and then go pastor. You quickly started to learn when you became executive director that some of the things the organization was doing, um, it's an ex-gay ex ministry at the time, reparative therapy and trying to quote-unquote change people's sexual orientation. What were you starting to learn once you got in that position about the kind of mandate of the organization? One of our long-term volunteers that I invited onto staff was a gay man who said, you know, you need to understand that I've been to nine Exodus conferences on three different continents. I've been in therapy for more than a decade. I've been in support groups, I've led support groups, and I'm as gay as I've ever been. The more Wendy talked with New Direction members and their international affiliate Exodus, the more she learned the truth, that trying to cure gay people wasn't working. In fact, it was doing more harm than good. I had talked to some uh, ex-gay survivors who tried to commit suicide after going th through a New Directions program. Like, were you hearing that, that people became suicidal? Interestingly enough, I wasn't hearing that many stories from people who had been connected with New Direction in the early years. And that's understandable. I mean, why would they talk to me when I'm the executive director of the same organization? So it wasn't until some years later that I began to connect with various people in the Toronto area. And um, yeah, it was kind of a mind fuck to realize that the thing I was leading had had traumatized people to the point of suicidal ideation. Um, years of unemployment because a uh, paralysis and a depression had immobilized them. Um, and so it didn't, um, as the pieces of the puzzle came together, it didn't surprise me, but it was devastating. In 2008, six years after she took over, Wendy blew the whistle on what she'd been hearing here. She said she was sorry, sorry for the pain her organization had caused. Then she cut ties with Exodus. Soon after, she lost half her funding and had to lay off all her staff. So I asked the question again, why not stop there? Why not apologize and then go away and say, we have obviously no role left for us. <laughs> We're not gonna do what we set out to do. So just close it down again. Why, why continue? You lost the staff, lost half of your funding. It's a painful situation. You've hurt a lot of people. You could just kind of disappear. It never really occurred to me to shut it down. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just ever the, the fixer or the optimist or the one who tries to make things right. For me, just slipping away into obscurity also meant that we weren't there to make any amends. And I am deeply aware that the amends that I can make are profoundly limited. Um, Why do you say that? I, I can't go and undo the past. Um, for me to listen deeply to the pain and the trauma, to be gentle in the face of the bitterness and anger that understandably is vented at New Direction and to offer as sincere and heartfelt an apology as I am able to offer 
doesn't make the trauma go away. It doesn't restore lost years. It doesn't bring back finances spent on therapy. But part of not disappearing is saying this matters. And repentance matters. Um, learning from your mistakes and trying to do it better, trying to, um, the very things that I think were the original intentions of, you know, being this place where people who were both LGBT and Christian could, could bring those things together and find life there. I do actually think that was the original intention. And um, it is amazing to me at times how religion can take something intended to be life-giving and really twist it and mess it up. Next on Heaven or Hell, Wendy goes from apologizing to gay people to marrying them. It was a little terrifying when they posted actually the photo that you have on Facebook. 